Space is huge and terrifying. Not just because we've barely scratched the surface of what lies beyond our blue-green rock, but also because most of what we've discovered is beautiful beyond comprehension and would kill us instantly and painfully. As if that's not enough, new, horrific, yet insanely cool things are being discovered and not understood daily. I'm Mike with List 25, and from black holes to moons, here are 25 of the creepiest things in the known universe. Twenty-five. Black holes are created when stars die. It's not enough that they die, they collapse in on themselves so much that they basically make a bathtub drain in the universe that sucks in and drains to who knows where everything that dares come near them. Neat. Twenty-four. Meteors killed the dinosaurs, and there's more where that came from. Specifically, one called 3753 Kruthne, which orbits the sun at almost the exact same distance as Earth. It's over three miles wide, but thankfully is going to stay several million miles from our little green-blue dot, as far as we know. 23. Random Rogue Planets There are whole religions devoted to thinking unseen planets are going to crash into us, tiny cult weirdo religions, but they still count. Well, apparently they're not entirely unfounded, because the possibility of a planet X is something that NASA is seriously looking into, and not ruling out. 22. All gold on Earth came from outer space via meteors a long, long time ago. So if you're wearing a gold ring right now, it's not from here. 21. She's not still in space. But for a while, there was a terrified dog dying of stress and heat in space in 1957. Her name was Laika, and she was the first living creature to orbit the Earth aboard Sputnik 2, which launched in November in 1957. Laika's body and Sputnik 2 burned up upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere the following year, but a poor stray dog dying of stress alone in space ranks pretty high on the creepy and sad scale. Poor girl. 20. The Himiko Cloud is the largest object in the known universe, and it's basically a giant mystery blob of unknown origin that's half the size of our galaxy. It's a gas cloud 12 billion light years away, and scientists assume it's leftovers from galaxy formation long ago and far away. 19. Mars. Just all of it, really. It's equal parts fascinating and terrifying. It's possible that Mars is where life, in microbe form, actually began, and then it found its way here, via asteroid. We already know there's been water on Mars in the past, flowing water. What dark secrets does the red planet hold? 18. Some stars sing to themselves. Unfortunately, the pitch is nearly a trillion hertz, so it's not really something we can hear and enjoy, but just know, stars are making sounds millions of light years away. 17. Diamond icebergs that float upon an ocean of carbon. That's not weird existential slam poetry. That's what scientists best guess about what the surface of Neptune and Uranus looks like. They theorize that there may even be diamond rain. 16. Black holes move. They aren't stationary. They move quite fast and sometimes they collide with other objects that they don't eat and change direction. It's like the most massive game of doomsday pinball ever. 15. Sometimes the moons of various planets are just as interesting as the planets they orbit. Interesting and terrifying. Take for example Titan, a moon of Saturn. Gravity is so low that if we ever visited, we could strap on wings and fly like birds. Well until the gasoline rain killed us. 14. To clarify, we live in a solar system. Our sun, star, is called Sol, and our planets and their moons are grouped around our star. That's one solar system. In our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, there are at least 500 solar systems, some with more planets than ours. The El Gordo galaxy cluster is over 8 billion light years away, contains 3 million billion, yeah, don't try to understand how big that is, just understand you can't really understand, 
times the mass of the Sun, and is the largest grouping of galaxies we know of. Grouping of galaxies. Our scientists named it the Spanish word for fat. 13. A giant cloud of hydrogen gas, Smith's cloud, weighing as much as one million stars, is headed towards our galaxy. Even now, if we could see radio waves, it would be significantly larger than the full moon in the sky at night. Thankfully, it will be millions of years before it gets here, but when it does, it may cause a reaction that forms new stars. The circle of life! I'm sorry, the, the writer wrote that. I, I had to do it. 12. Zombie stars come back to life by stealing material from neighboring stars. Yeah. They're called 1A supernovas, and are kind of a white dwarf star that's basically dead until it sucks up enough matter to become a supernova and spew its guts across the universe. 11. There's a giant hurricane-like storm on Jupiter so big, you could fit three Earths into it. We've watched it for centuries. Same storm, changing colors. 10. Even with all the stars and galaxies and New York City streetlights that our solar system contains, there are still pockets of extreme blackness. There's just vast amounts of darkness. Not like power outage when the moon is behind the cloud, but complete, utter darkness in the vacuum of space. No idea what or who could be lurking up in there, or if the darkness itself is sentient, but I'll probably have nightmares about whatever it is if I ruminate on it much longer. 9. There's a blue planet that rains molten glass because it's so close to its sun that the temperature is nearly 2,000 degrees, because apparently every beautiful thing in space would kill you instantly. The romantic name scientists have given this azure planet of beauty and sure death? HD 189733B. 8. Dark matter makes up about 80% of the mass in the universe, and we can't see it. Scientists can't observe it. We don't know what it is, we just know that it's there. It's kind of holding things together. Dark matter makes up about 80% of the universe, and dark energy, I'll get to that, is a separate thing. And together, they make up about 91% of, well, literally everything. And we can't see them. They're completely undetectable to us. I'm not saying they're multi-dimensional beings or overlapping universes completely unobservant to us. I'm just not saying that there aren't either. 7. In August of 1977, Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope received a signal from deep space, which became known as the WOW signal, because that's what was written on the printout. It lasted 71 seconds, and attempts to locate where it came from came up with nothing. In 2012, on the 35th anniversary of the signal, a message containing 10,000 tweets was beamed in the same general direction the signal came from. The scary part here isn't the signal. It's that we replied with 10,000 random tweets. So that's just out there in the universe now. Six. The lowest note in the universe is a sound coming from a black hole. It's a B-flat that is 57 octaves below middle C on the piano. Black holes aren't scary enough, now they're singing in the vacuum of space. 5. Aliens may have started talking to us in 2016. And by talking, I mean flashing lights, specifically star pulses. These 234 abnormal pulses observed in October 2016, may be signals from alien civilizations right in our own galaxy. Neighbors. Or just more weird space stuff that we don't even understand how much we don't understand it. But we know it's something. 4. While scientists are looking at starting a colony on Mars, and this makes sense as it's the next logical step in space colonization, the closest planet that would be inhabitable and similar to Earth is actually 20 light years away, and it's called Gliese 581g. This planet also orbits a red dwarf star, which is smaller than Sol, our star, the best star, meaning that it's much closer, so stepping out into the sunshine would probably melt your face off, and retreating to the side of the planet away from the sun would freeze you to death. And this is arguably our best future option for a home away from home. Oh, 
it's title locked, in case you're wondering. 3. When we see shooting stars, what we're actually seeing is a meteor burning up in Earth's atmosphere. And good thing too, because stars are giant balls of super hot gas that could easily obliterate a planet if they careened around the universe willy nilly. Except, some do. They're called hypervelocity stars, and six of them were discovered in our very own galaxy in 2013. Apparently, when a black hole eats the stars in a binary system, it only eats one and spits the other out. Neat. In a, well, that would be a neat way for our entire planet to be destroyed kind of way. 2. Dark flow is not dark matter. It's somewhat more, sinister and, inexplicable. It's a force, they think, that's outside of our known universe causing it to do weird things. That's literally the most layman's breakdown. Is it another dimension? Is it God? Is it the walls of the airport locker that our universe is contained in? Dark flow is what's outside our known universe. Scientists don't know what it is, but they know it's there. If this seems vague and terrifying, there's also dark fluid, which attempts to explain and combine dark matter slash flow, and dark energy, which is not a Star Wars reference, but the general term for inexplicable energy, which is causing the universe to expand at an ever-accelerating rate. Need a drink yet? Our author also included a little side note here on my script. After reading about dark flow, dark matter, dark fluid, which attempts to explain and combine dark matter and dark flow and dark energy, which is a completely different thing, and eternal inflation theory, I need a drink. Or 12. And scientists need marketing interns, because they should not be allowed to name their own stuff anymore. Ever. I understand that we ran out of the Roman pantheon a while ago, but could they start going through My Little Pony or Pokemon or Mountain Dew flavors, please? The Sangrita Blast Nebula, or Rainbow Dash Energy, sound really cool, and less terrifying. If NASA found a fluffy kitten cotton candy planet, they'd name it Dark Doom Planet 9356H. 1. Human beings. We're pretty terrifying. We hurt each other for shiny things or merely the joy of causing pain with alarming regularity. If you were a hyper-intelligent advanced species from the outer reaches of space, would you visit us? Or would you jokingly hum the dueling banjos theme from Deliverance when you pass by our galaxy? Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button in the top right corner so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these two videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.